sparkling blue water, palm tree lined streets, cafes and clubs that pulse with an inviting rhythm 24 hours a day. Miami, a feast for the senses, one of the hottest cities in the world where live and let live is the mantra. Welcome to Miami, one of Florida's most popular destinations. A quick nonstop flight from Boston brings you to warm beaches, Latin and Cuban culture, Art Deco architecture, and lots of people watching, making it a great winter getaway. And for many of the rich and famous, Miami is home. This one belongs to David and Victoria Beckham. David Beckham, yeah, he also owns the yacht. He's actually using this empty lot to build the starter boat for his kids. A 45 minute ride aboard the Thriller Speedboat Adventure is sightseeing Miami Vice style. Are you guys ready to go fast? All right, here we go. Our captain knows the right spots to slow down for potential star sightings. This three-story white mansion with a dome on top belongs to a Puerto Rican superstar. It looks to live La Vida Loca. Yeah, can anybody guess who that is? Ricky Martin. This offshore excursion offers gawkers a unique look at some of Miami's most beautiful and expensive homes. This home is now on the market for $62 million. Right next door, we have a two-story white mansion. Now, this home belongs to a five-foot-three Baywatch beauty, Carmen Electra. From Will Smith's summer home to Gloria Estefan's lush tropical paradise, this tour showcases the city's star power. Back on land, celebrity of a more scandalous kind on Ocean Drive home to one of the world's most photographed places. Gianni Versace was murdered in broad daylight this morning. It's the site of the infamous high society murder that shocked the world in 1997. Gianni Versace, designer to the stars, was gunned down on the steps of his ornate South Beach mansion. After his death, the Versace family sold the property and it's now a boutique hotel called Villa Casa Casarina. Not much has changed since the days the fashion icon walked these halls. It's an understatement to say that his influence is still felt. All the nuances really are, are just uh, very much him. Versace spent more than $30 million renovating the oceanfront home. The hotel's general manager, Chauncey Copeland, guided us through a rare tour of the grounds. Only guests of the hotel's 10 suites are allowed in. What we have here is the famous 24 karat mosaic pool. It gets its name because amongst them are thousands of 24 karat tiles all inlaid. It's a one of a kind place. It's still arresting every time you come in. Here is the courtyard area of the Versace mansion. Versace lived to entertain friends, says Copeland. These guest rooms not changed much since the designer lived here. This room we're in now is the Azor suite. It's a good example of all of the eclectic patterns that Gianni always brought into all of his designs. What we have here is the Aurora Suite. It's really taking advantage of all of the light that comes in from the pool area. All the golds and the other colors that he incorporated in here really takes in the sun. This is where his guests stayed. He even designed some of the rooms with them in mind. Some of his friends, he worked into the design, like he'll have cherubs with friends' faces and things like that. The Versace Mansion's crown jewel. We're here in the observatory. This is where Gianni Versace spent a lot of his time. He had a very keen interest in astronomy, and he used to sit here for hours with his telescope. This entire cone rotated. He could point the opening in any direction. It's spectacular. It is something that people can enjoy. It really is a step back to see what was a vision by somebody who really had a unique vision on, on life, really. On nearby Collins Ave, a different type of guest experience at the Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel. We're located right in the heart of South Beach, a block away from Ocean Drive, a block from Lincoln Road. You could literally have a cocktail on the beach, you could go shopping, you could go to a museum. There's plenty to see, plenty to do. Danny Perez and his dad Mariano work in the hotel. Danny is a concierge. Mariano, a bellman, has worked at the hotel since day one 20 years ago. You're welcome, my dear. The dynamic duo pride themselves on treating guests like family. We have a repeating guest from the first year. They're still coming and coming and recommending to the others because 
they bring more people with, with them. What's it like working with your dad? He's still the boss. <laughs> it's kind of funny because a lot of people say, oh, this is my son, by the way. Say, wait a minute, are you son? <laughs> well, we've got the same size. He's 6'3", I'm 3'6". <laughs> Do you feel like you have extra eyes on you because your dad is here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ran them to see him roaming around. <laughs> yeah, that, right. Yeah. It's true. And especially when I first got here, he had me on a straight line. Oh, yeah. You know, I was Absolutely. still learning. The two think of the hotel as a second home. We have great service, beautiful property. We renovated the property about three years ago. From our pool deck to our lobby to our guest rooms, it's an amazing experience.